Okay, so I thought I'd have a look at Zubuntu uh, and see how it runs. Uh, and as you can see, it looks uh, very Spartan when you first boot it up. Uh, I have run updates on this, but I haven't installed anything. I haven't played around with it too much. Uh, but if you want to install this, if you look at my Ubuntu video, which I'll link in the description, uh, and go to one, 1 minute 45, and uh, you're just replacing Ubuntu with Zubuntu. Uh, and so then it'll install in exactly the same way. And when it boots up, it looks like this. Uh, so you can see there's very, very little here. I don't know why it says my Wi-Fi has got a question mark, uh, but, uh, but it does. What does this do? So that, what's that little drop down? Right, so, oh, so settings is there. Obviously this is for people who like an incredibly clean desktop. Uh, there, is, there is just nothing on there at all. It is, you know, and, and nothing comes in from the sides or anything like that. So it's, uh, it's very, very Spartan. Uh, but uh, as you can see from the settings, the settings are very well laid out. Uh, and there's a lot of, uh, oh, I didn't find any Bluetooth. That's interesting. I'm sure other OSs have found Bluetooth. Uh, so yeah, they definitely have. Uh, oh, you can see there's something about dock there. What does that do? Strange. Notifications. Search. Region. Online accounts. Applications. Oh, okay. So the applications can come up in here as well. Oh, and that's... Oh, this is about notifications. Oh, yeah. So you can turn off notifications like you would on a, on a mobile OS. Oh, I haven't noticed that in any of the others. It's probably there, but... Uh, it's it's just things that highlight you know when you look through the system uh, sharing sound power network devices right so let's get rid of that and go up what happens if we right click on this there's a calendar that's nice uh, left click on activities and you can see no apps come up um, so if I was to look for something uh, if I start typing no writer Oh, okay, so when you start typing, it comes up with various things that are pre-installed on your system. Uh, RetroArch isn't pre-installed on my system. What happens if I click on it? it? Takes me to the App Store, or their version of the App Store. Although, what's happened here? Let's go back. There you can see, so if you want to install an app, you can click on it, click on Install, and obviously that will install. Nicely laid out, looks really, really clean, really friendly. Uh, oh, that's that Command and Conquer. That was that was good. I had that in uh, one of the Monkey Pie builds. I played that. I was pretty sure it was on that. That that was excellent. Really enjoyed that. Uh, so, mine test Linux Tycoon. So this is going on a search for WRI, which is weird. So let's just go for all. Uh, here you go. So it's in categories now. So audio and video, crikey, there's loads. And as an OS, it seems pretty quick. Doesn't didn't say that didn't seem pretty quick, but uh, as I've been playing around with it, it seems quick. Uh, that's a strangely named app. Uh, so crikey, yeah, loads of stuff. That's interesting to see. And let's go back and go for games. Sorted by, oh, you've got sorting as well. Uh, Mednaf's good. So I've done that on some of my Raspbian videos. Uh, that's a multi-platform emulator, which is really good. Uh, PR Boom, which is a Doom. Um, I don't know if it's a Doom clone or if it's if it's Doom just adapted. Uh, quite like our Megatron as well, which is like a Tron, like a light cycle game. See, this is nice, isn't it? This is very, very friendly and very sort of simple to operate, very much more like a touchscreen uh, interface in some ways, because everything's so big. Uh, you can see Quakes there, you can see the Game Boy Advance is there. Yeah, lo wow, look how much is there. Loads and loads of stuff. Obviously there's there's other stuff that you can get that isn't in the store uh, by using the sudo app to update and, and get and install commands. Uh, so, Firefox web browser, Thunderbird Mail, all sorts of things. Let's go back. Add-ons. 
and I've been reading more about Ubuntu because I don't really use uh, Ubuntu traditionally. I've used various different versions of Linux and sort of played around with it, but never as my main operating system. Well, that doesn't look as exciting. Fonts. Oh yeah, font. That's in, uh, that, isn't that a nice way of finding your fonts? And I guess because it's all Linux, everything's, everything tends to be free and open source. Right, so let's go back. Try and go back. Yeah. Oh, that's not what happened there. Uh, so, add ons productivity, graphics and photography. And obviously, if you're searching for something, so say for instance, I was, if I go back, uh, where was the search bar? All installed uh, at the top here. That. Uh, and if I type in, say, PlayStation. There you go, comes up with RetroArch. So PlayStation, yeah, not mentioned in the title there, but it obviously knows that there's a, an element of PlayStation on that and uh, a PlayStation emulator there as well comes up. What happens if I hit settings? Sign into Snap, snap to Store, sign into Ubuntu One. Okay, so it looks like it's put two things together to make it a more unified experience maybe. Um, so going back to this very, very clean desktop. Uh, if I hit on activities, uh, this is uh, software. So that's what I was just looking at. I just got there in a different way. Uh, help, which is interesting to see. Uh, obviously this universal search, which searches for loads of different things on the platform. And also this is your multi desktop. So if I, let's launch a few apps, uh, or let's, la let's launch Firefox, and then go and click on activities. Again, I'm not, People will be more productive on this because they'll know the system. I, this is my first look, so don't judge it by you know how I'm using it. But you can see here that I've got two desktops, so I can switch to another desktop. Then I could maybe open the Help uh, app, and if I want to switch between the two, and there may I'm sure you can do this on the keyboard some way. Uh, you can see it's got three desktops now, uh, so a clean desktop with nothing on it, the Help, and the web browser. So let's have a look at the web browser. Uh, let's click on that and then how do I maximize that? Uh, double click? Yeah, so double click goes full screen. Strange how there's no minimize and maximize there, isn't it? Uh, so, first tab, let's do my usual BBC. Let's go with. Oh, Hot UK deals. Let's do the third one as YouTube. Uh, click on YouTube. Click on Hot UK deals. And click on BBC News. So if I want to scroll up and down, obviously loads of loads of tiles, loads of photos and things on there. If I wanted to look closer at a story, there you go, that takes me into that. Hot UK Deals. Nice. Uh, and then if I go into YouTube and I search for myself, <laughs> Try and get something with a bit of movement in it. So I generally go to seven. Oh, I can't because it's advert. Let's skip the advert. Oh, I've got to watch the advert. Okay, well, while the advert's playing, see the advert looks very jerky, doesn't it? Obviously, more optimization needs to happen with with YouTube on lots of these distros. Uh, let's get back, flicking through the pages. Yeah, it's jerky, isn't it? What, what resolution is that? I know this bit doesn't look as oh, 480. Let's go to 720, go to full screen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's it's certainly been better on a lot of the others. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not so great, is it? 
and what's it like? Yeah, still pretty jerky. Uh, so not so good on that side of it, but obviously as time goes on and up against it, I mean Ubuntu's only just come out on the Pi, so let's not judge it by that. Let's kind of judge it by how the OS looks. And obviously you can install different browsers and do updates and so on. So let's have a quick look at the applications that are pre-installed. Additional drivers, application finder, Bluetooth. I found the file manager funny because if you click on this file manager, which I thought was a file manager, it's file manager preferences, which I, thought I found a bit weird. And I tried that a few times and, and was trying to work out what, uh, what it was. There is another, there's an alternate file manager and you can, again, it's Ubuntu, so you can install your own file manager, but this is about what comes pre-installed. There's a calculator. Uh, oh, there's a game there, look, Mind. I guess that's a game. Uh, if I go down to the second page, uh, Screenshot, there's an app for Screenshot. Movable Drive, Software Updates, so Mail App. Yeah, this is the File Manager. And what was there that I found funny on it? So I was looking on, I, was, I always tend to look for my network drive uh, just because uh, it's, I think it's interesting to, to um, see how well it connects to that. And it did find it straight away. Um, but there was something it was doing where it was opening in a different window. So we're going that one and I try and just play a video. For, yeah, so double tapping does that. That's a bit weird, isn't it? I wouldn't have expected that. So a single tap doesn't do anything. If I right click, I can uh, open with open folder with what? What does that mean? I don't know what that does. Yeah, I just found it a bit, again, again I've, I'm only looking at it for the first time. There's probably something that's very obvious that I'm missing, uh, but double clicking does that and I would have expected it to navigate in the folder. So if I do open a new tab, it does that as well. It's just not expected behavior uh, from my NAS drive. So I don't know why it's doing that. I did manage to get into it. How did I do it? Open a new window, send to copy delete, open with, I wonder if I do open with another application. What's it gonna come up with? Oh, it's that, I see. So, uh, recommended applications, open folder with Thunar. And then, no, that still didn't open it because that's gone to the home folder. Okay, so I found that a bit strange. Uh, I was gonna show you video playing, but I, I haven't got a lot of time. So, show applications, just flick back through and go to the bottom here. So very clean, very simple, still feels pretty fast. Um, another OS. Oh, if you can think of anything else that you'd like to see me try, uh, any other distros, uh, I'd really like to try uh, Lineage OS, which is the Android version, but it looks like it's not supported by the Pi yet. Uh, and also I've had a recent comment which tells me how to install Steam, uh, and so I wanna have a look at that as well, um, because I'd really like to get Steam working. Um, so rather than Steam Link, the actual Steam client. So I'm going to try that later on. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's my first look at Zubuntu. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.